Hey guys, so we're going to talk about book reading and the impact of that in your classrooms. Now, everybody reads books, so that's one of the things that we can easily attach some of our communication objectives to. Now, you can read a book in many, many different ways. The most common way is to show the book and look through the pages and then read it. So we can hold it up to ourselves, we read the text, and then we show a picture. That's the, the most common way of reading a book. With just a few little tweaks though, we can make this an activity that helps us engage in social interaction with our students and gives them an opportunity to communicate with us or to practice their communication skills. In order to do that, we just need a few things. So I created a very simple preschool communication board that goes along with reading a book. So it has very simple messages like, look at that, and let me see, that's funny. So there are things that you may say, or the student may say while you're reading the book. What we're hoping to do is to teach the student to use multiple functions of communication while simply reading a book. So we're gonna give them the opportunity to control the situation, to say things like, let's stop, um, to ask you to do something for them. So maybe they can say, let's read. We want them to be able to comment. So that's going to be things like, that's funny, right? Um, and then they can ask to be a part of the book reading by saying, let's turn a page. Six super simple comments, requests, um, and control messages that our students can practice in an activity that you're going to do anyway. So let's talk about how this looks. So when I'm sitting down with a student, I'm getting ready to read my book, I'm going to say, hey, let's read. And then I'm going to wait, make sure that the communication page or device, if this is on a communication device, is close enough to them that they can look at it, potentially touch it themselves, or maybe if they are speaking, say the words that they just heard me say. I'm going to give them about 10 seconds of wait time from me in order to see if they do anything. Some of our students are very emergent communicators. All they're gonna do potentially is look at the page that you just pointed at. Look at the look at the symbol. That's okay because that attention to the symbol is one of the first things that we wanna see happen with our student. So we've said, let's read, and then we're gonna go about reading our book, okay? So I'm gonna start my book, Dear Zoo. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me a, oh, what is it? And now I'm gonna comment a little bit. I'm gonna have my communication board and maybe I might say, ooh, look at that. I wonder what that is. And then I'm gonna wait 10 seconds to see if they look at my, look at my symbol or look at my book, point to it, maybe even reach for it. So I'm giving them an opportunity to respond to me. So then we're gonna look at it. Oh, it's an elephant. I wrote the word there just to make it more obvious and to give us an opportunity to look at the text that is associated with the image on my page. I'm not saying you should always write in your books, but in this case, it was my book, I did it. Okay, he was too big. I took him back. <gasps> Oh my gosh, now I can make a comment to my kids. I could say, ooh, that's funny. We had to send him back. Who would want an elephant for a pet? So now we're commenting a little bit and then I'm gonna wait to see if my student says or does anything that I can construe as communicative. So maybe they look at the, at the symbol, maybe they touch it. Maybe they look at me and laugh, right? So if they look at me and they laugh, I'm gonna interpret that. I'm gonna go, oh yeah, you're right, I agree. And then I'm gonna model it on my board. I'm gonna say, that's funny, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna show them the first few times this symbol, turn the page. So let's turn the page. And we're gonna go back to our book and we're gonna turn the page. And you're just gonna keep reading through the book. Now, all during this time, it's really important that you're paying attention to how your student is interacting with facial expressions, gestures, their words, their sounds. 
And you're going to interpret all of that to either verbal speech or the use of the, of the board. So if you have that student who's beginning to get a little wiggly in their seat, we might say to them, hey, let's stop for a minute because that's what they're telling you, right? Let's stop for a minute. And you might take the book and you might set it down and set down your board and wait for a minute. Give them a little bit of a break. And then you might bring that book back out again and see if you can reinitiate the activity. Now, I'm not saying wait 30 minutes. I'm saying give them a minute maybe two, right? Maybe they just need to wiggle. Maybe they need to stand up. A lot of times if they get up and they move around, that's okay because they'll come back. If you're interesting and you're engaging when you're reading the book, they're going to come back. Now, a few things, a few tips about this, things to avoid. When you're reading a book, one of your goals may be that the child is beginning to learn some vocabulary. So you could do things like talk about the giraffe and you could talk about the lion, um, but what we tend to do is we tend to get a little um, heavy on this noun, noun labeling. Um, so we do things with our students, like we read our book, and then when we engage them to interact with us, we will do things like say, okay, Jackson, point to the elephant. Where's the elephant? Can you touch the elephant? And then Jackson touches the elephant. Now, if you think about that from a reading perspective, that's a vocabulary task. It's a receptive vocabulary or understanding vocabulary task for your student. So they may learn to say the word elephant, right? Or they may learn to understand the word elephant. Is there value in that? Well, sure, there's definitely value in it. But what I'd like to say is even if, if that's your goal, sometimes when you read your book, that's okay. But you want to more often use your book reading as a time to socially connect draw attention to text, and help your student practice communication skills. That's it.